the horrific moment that the truck, seemingly at high speed, crashed into slow-moving traffic on the N3, was captured on an onboard camera. The car of the two victims was crushed and dragged for several meters. The road traffic inspectorate says at least 15 people have been killed in 52 crashes involving trucks in the month of October alone. The horror crash in September in Pongola, which claimed the lives of 20 people, including 18 children, allegedly due to reckless driving, has led to renewed calls for stricter regulations for trucks. The latest victims were Pradil Takurkublal, the son of minority front leader Shamin Takur Rajpansi, and his fiance Priyanka Nankumar. They, they, were, they were loving, outgoing, fun people that, that, that were always so giving and loving unconditionally with, with never ever looking for recognition for what they did. Friends and family called for stricter law enforcement. People are definitely unsafe on the roads with the trucks that are coming through, especially the N3 between Petermarisburg and, and Durban. They drive like maniacs, they speed on the roads and they take up all three lanes sometimes. It's, it's very unsafe for drivers on the road. Something really needs to be done about this. I think we must support the calls that come, that come for more stringent laws uh, for truck drivers and the trucking industry. And I think uh, that, that these sort of uh, uh, policies will actually assist uh, in preventing these incidents from recurring. Authorities called on truck owners to ensure that trucks are serviced. Deco is expected back in court on the 17th of January next year. Lundi Khadeb, SAPC News, Peter Marisbeck.